Hi, my name is Lacey Smith, and I am a CVI project coordinator at the CVI Center at Perkins School for the Blind. In this video today, we're going to talk about the impact of clutter and crowding. What is the impact of clutter and crowding? It's the ability to attend to, recognize, and or navigate materials or environments with varying levels of visual clutter. Clutter is one of the greatest barriers to access for individuals with CVI. In this photo, there is a chair and desk with clutter. What does the research say? Children with CVI have difficulties locating objects or familiar people in crowded and visually complex environments. Excessive classroom clutter makes it more difficult for children with CVI to focus. Access to crowded print may be difficult for individuals with CVI. Simultagnosia may make it difficult for children to process large volumes of visual information in the classroom environment simultaneously. With an increased visual load, individuals with CVI have to grind it out as opposed to having that instantaneous capture of information we see with really efficient visual systems. Visual search performance worsened with increasing crowd density for individuals with CVI. Dorsal stream dysfunction often leads to distress in crowded and noisy places. Inability to locate an object in clutter or a friend in a group or to read unless peripheral text is masked. Cluttered environments can induce disorientation to individuals with CVI. What is visual clutter? Clutter comes in all shapes and sizes, a stacked bookshelf, a playroom, a box of toys, food on a plate, a worksheet filled with text, drawings, cafeteria, a busy place, a crowd, decorated classrooms, displays in stores, pattern rug or surfaces, brick sidewalks, a page of a book, and more than one or two items next to each other. There are four images. One is of a crowded text on a page, crowded food on a table, cluttered student worksheets, in a crowded subway. Individuals with CVA may have a harder time with visual sorting and perception, and when lots of items compete for their attention, it's even harder to focus. Individuals with CVI may only be able to see one thing at a time or see it against a simple backdrop. Individuals with CVI have difficulty with visual attention and recognition with clutter, when objects spaced too closely or with an unpredictable arrangement. Individuals with CVI may only perceive closely grouped objects as a single object, and they may not be able to distinguish an object from others on the background. Some observable behaviors of individuals with CVI include misidentifying visually busy presentations, reduced ability to navigate cluttered environments, you will look at and or interpret single colored materials, but may avoid or misinterpret multicolored. And sometimes they're unable to find an item when it's surrounded with other items. In the top picture is a pile of Legos. In the bottom picture is a crowded worksheet with 23 scattered words. Some compensatory skills to work around clutter and crowding. We can help by creating predictable and organized environments. You might see an individual clear or swipe cluttered areas, use memory and context when clutter interferes with attention and recognition. You might see an individual dump out a toy box or line up and arrange objects in a predictable display. You might see an individual with CVI bring something very near to remove the background clutter or put their head down, close their eyes, or fall asleep. You might even see them become agitated. The top in image is a sensory basket dumped out on the floor. The bottom image is a child laying head down, taking their own visual break. Here's an example of the impact of clutter. On the left, a teacher presents a book standing in front of a visually cluttered background. And on the right, that same teacher presents a book standing in front of a black curtain 
Looking at the two images helps you better understand clutter from a student's perspective and helps support visual attention for many individuals with CVI. Here is another example of the impact of clutter. On the left is a photo of a black slant board with three objects spaced adequately. A light attached to the slant board is shining down on the middle object. And on the right is a blue slant board with an image of a bus for the letter B and a C image presented on a black page with a black trifold behind the slant board. Here's another example of the impact of clutter. A photograph of Matt Tejan's CVI in the Math Mind demonstrating how to simplify an adding by two worksheet on a slant board for less visual crowding and clutter. The left image shows 16 problems on a single worksheet. The right image is one single adding by two math problem supported with color and a multi-sensory approach against a black slant board. Here's another example of impact of crowding and clutter. The left image is a random group of miniature dinosaurs. The right image is of miniature pink and blue dinosaurs placed in a predictable line, alternating colors against a black line to support color contrast. Here's a quote from Nicola McDowell, an adult living with CVI. As a teenager, I didn't have much control over many of the environments that I spent time in, including my classroom at school. This meant that the majority of my day was spent in an environment that was visually cluttered with pictures, artwork, and posters plastered all over the walls, covering the windows and at times hanging from the ceiling. This clutter combined with the overload of other sensory information, such as the constant noise, movement, and smells of a classroom full of students, meant that I spent the whole school day feeling anxious and on edge. Being in these cluttered environments was also exhausting, and I soon learned that the only way I was going to survive each day was if I allowed myself some quiet time during break times. It's very impactful. Here's another quote from Aiden, a teenager with CVI. When asked, would you be able to find an object when it's mixed in with a bunch of things? Yeah, I could figure it out but it'd be harder to recognize what I'm looking for. Every child with CVI is teachable and every child has a right to a meaningful and accessible education. For more information, please visit perkins.org slash CVI or cvinow.org.